It's the moment we've been waiting for forever. It's finally here. Arcade Empire has finally updated. Look at this. Ratings. Arcade Empire update. One new capsule. Developer capsule. Three new machines. Carnival. Coin grab. Mega table. There's a new theme. There's a rating system. There's a Bruh. basement. A basement in your arcade. I'm down for basements. Although that's kind of creepy. You want to come play pinball in my basement? Sounds kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, I'm going to go play pinball. We've been waiting for this game to update for so long, and you guys have been asking where the videos were. The game just didn't update, you know? It's it's not my fault, okay? I didn't know what to make videos on, but now that it's updated, you guys need to smash the like button. If you guys want to see some more vids on this, hit that like button. Let's get 8,000 likes on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new, and check out my streaming channel linked in the description. It's called Russo. I'm going to be streaming this new update as you're watching this, probably grinding and, you know, getting some new stuff. Let's take a first look and check all these things out. There's even more things in the update that I didn't mention and a question mark. I don't know what that means, but I'm excited to hop in. As you can hear by the sounds, we're back and it feels good. I'm not going to lie. This is one of my favorite games right now. It's just a chill game. It's fun to grind. It's been doing really well on the channel and then they just weren't updating. So it was kind of, it was making me go, oh, I'm sad. But now that they updated, Look at me. Look at me now. Perfect smile. All right, in all seriousness, though, I haven't played this game as much because they just didn't update the game and there wasn't much to play. I already caught, I already got everything. I must have caught everything like Lumion Legacy. I'm addicted to Pokemon lately. I already got everything. They added another statue. Here's Grandma's for the total customers. And then they added a money earned statue. So we could potentially get on there one day. And uh, here's me. I'm very behind now. I haven't played the game in a while. So now I'm, oh my gosh. I'm not even, I'm top 61. At least when I level up, I'll be like 56. But Remember my grind to number one? That was fun. We almost got there, and then Grandma just had to rain on our parade. At least Grandma sometimes, you know, wears blue merch, except right now she's not. She changes her look up a lot, it seems. Anyways, let's check out some of the new stuff in here. So there is a new theme. Here it is, the Zen theme. 30% more from customers and five times the XP. That's more than futuristic and more than pirate. So it's the best theme currently, and it looks sick. It looks awesome. I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to equip it. There we go. Zen theme equip. So that theme alone, everybody's probably been saving up, and if you saved up enough, now you have the Zen theme. And look, here's ranks. This is, look at my arcade. Oh my gosh, it looks sick. All right, so here's the ranks. There's ranks for total customers. There's ranks for total money earned, and then there's a level. So right now, I'm expert level. God is the highest. I'm not quite there. Total money earned, we're lavish. So we're, we're about like yellow and everything, but this one, master owner. We're not currently godly, but we'll make it to that. We'll make it to that. This guy wants a screenshot? Sure. It's the real Russo plays, the real lavish level expert, okay? It's no big deal. It's just what I do. Hi, guys. Thanks. Okay. Now it's time to get serious. They added three new arcade game machines. Then they added a developer capsule. Wait, also, I just realized there's a second floor right here. Is this just like alluding to the new? Oh my gosh, this is the basement. Wait a second. This is the basement. This is where they're adding a bunch of stuff. Did they add my fan art yet? <laughs> Please add my fan art to the game. Look, there's even an empty spot. I guess my fan art is uh, too meme -y for them. I got to make a better fan art. We'll, we'll make one one day and I'll send it to them, but it looks like it's not quite in the game. So this is the basement. I actually thought that the basement was going to be a floor under your arcade. So I'm kind of sad about that. I thought the basement was actually, I didn't know the basement was just this in the shop. I thought the basement was actually in your arcade. Maybe there is, I don't know, but we'll go see. So the arcade games you saw were in the basement. We're gonna go back and check them out. We're gonna check those out last. First, let's go to the developer capsule. Did they add any new, they, they added no new decor. So I don't think there's any new decor. They added this though, the developer capsule. We used to have all of the customers. Now we gotta get all these. It's gonna be a grind. Let's just auto open a few. Let's just auto open a few to start. And then we're gonna go back to those arcade machines. So we're gonna be checking out all of these oh we got a beism and a bad cc jailbreak beism really good builder we got a nicholas from murder mystery and then a simo 3089 from jailbreak not bad okay and that we're, we're just getting the same ones now okay so we need we need the eight percent we need the other ones we'll come back and get some of those let's leave for now and we'll come back to those. Now Now we have really good customers. How good are those customers, by the way? Customers, if I go all the way down, 5.69 is the best developer. And it's probably Henry Dev. It's probably the leader of this game, the guy who made the game. 
Um, so here's my themes thing. This is the new thing we got going on, ratings. Increase your rating points by placing decor in your game. This is something that nobody has really. Nobody has decor. Everybody that's trying to become super OP in this game just has machines because they want to make the most money. So adding decor now is actually valuable. You get rating points. I don't know what the rating points really do. I guess it's just like a leaderboard thing. So now there's going to be people that have no arcade games and strictly decor items, which is going to be kind of funny. Um, let's do our spin real quick. Let's go over here and get our free spin. We have two free spins. So I'll do two. And oh my gosh, it's double spinning. That's kind of creepy. Okay. We got some stuff. Cool. I'll take it. Now let's go check out these new arcade games. There's so many new things I got to check out in this update. And remember, I'm going to be streaming this on Russo. So make sure you check that out. Here are the new games. They got Carnival Pinball. It's a classic old pinball machine. It's a one by one that gets 128 per play. That's going to be pretty good. This is also a one by one. It's a coin grab game. I love these at arcades where you basically like try to get the coin to fall down and like push the other coins down. And then they added a four player table game. This one's 616. It takes up two by two. So this again is going to be just like the Dark Terror, but is it better? It's two million per. Let's check out the Dark Terror because the Dark Terror is a two by two, but does it give 616? That gives more, I think. Yeah, it gives more. So the Dark Terror is cheaper, but the four player table game is actually better. So we kind of want to get those. Let me, let me get some of these real quick. Let me actually normal. What's normal? Oh, you can straight up buy goldens. You can just buy goldens now. You don't actually have to worry about like upgrading them yourself you can buy them as they are. So I'm looking at the, the things right now. They added a trophy system for top 100. That's the thing we don't have yet. And then we got the new middle statue. We got the titles, max combine all button, increased inventory upgrades by machine upgrades. So that's what this is. And then there's question marks. I don't know what that means. If you guys figure it out, I'm, I'm going to be streaming this. If you guys figured out like some sort of secret, let me know. This is how much a rainbow cost and a one diamond, one diamond mega table is literally $2 billion. I don't have enough for it. So we'll go ahead and we'll buy two rainbows. We'll buy two rainbow mega, mega table games just to put down and we'll put them down in my, my arcade. Let's see what else they have here. Did they, they said they added something like max combine all. I see. So now I can just hit the max combine all button. And here's the trophy. I do have a trophy. So let's take a look at that bronze trophy. I don't, I don't know what that does. I kind of just want to place it to flex, but yeah, I think that's what the top 100 people have. So I feel special. All right. First thing we got to do with this Zen arcade, it looks really cool, but we got to upgrade this thing, man. We got to change it so that it's blue. So let's go over to the themes, make this thing blue real quick. Cause it's not, it's not cutting it. Wait, what, wait, where, where do I do it again? Yeah, but the, the red is not cutting it. So we got to switch that. Let's go primary. Let's go white. I think it's too, it's too white. Oh, that's kind of sick though. That actually looks kind of good. I kind of like that. I, I think I might make the blue a little bit, a little bit more blue. Cause it's like a little bit, not enough blue. Let's do that. That's pretty close to my merch, kind of. I think that looks pretty good. I like that. I like the I like the combination right there. So let's go inside. Let's go ahead and oh my gosh, it looks sick with all the diamond. Let's go ahead and go to the top floor. I'm gonna take some things out right here because these are just rainbow dog fighters. And since the Russo punching bag is really not that good, I'm gonna remove them. You know, it's kind of sad, but gotta remove this guy. Okay. Um, let's put down the rainbow mega table games. I'm gonna put two down. So they're gonna replace a lot of my dog fighters. They're less customers. I believe, but they're way better money. So rainbow mega table games. These are going to be a lot of money per. Then we can also place down. What about that trophy? Yeah. What do I do with that? Like, can I, does that give me, Oh, I didn't mean to remove that. Let's put this down again, the rainbow table, and then let's put down the trophy. I don't know what it does, but I'm going to place it. Yeah. So I have two things now. So that's 200 points. I basically, in order to get a five-star rating, I need a bunch of decor. So you basically need 80 decor items that give you a hundred points. So that's a lot of decor items. You're sad sacrificing a lot of money made to do that. I don't know if it's worth it. Let me know in the comments if you guys are grinding rating or if you're grinding money or customers. The thing is rating is kind of like more important now because of how hard it is to get to number one on money and customers. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what the rating really does. I don't know if it like, is there a leaderboard for rating? Because there's just capsules, customers, money, and then server. I don't think there's actually anything for rating. There's just money earned and total customers. So I I guess the rating is just dependent on like your own UI. Like, does anybody else see your rating? Because I, I have my rating right here. I'm only a one star. I kind of want to get five star rating just for this video. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Let's go to the shop and get a bunch of our uh, decor items. We'll fill it with blue lava lamps. That's what I want to do. 
Not max though. I don't want to buy max. Let's let's take that away. Let's buy let's buy like let's buy like 800. That's a lot. 800 lava lamps. I do kind of want to buy some of these too. Let's buy a bunch of. Oh my god, they're really expensive. I forgot they're really expensive. Yeah, we're not gonna buy too many of those. We're good here. So now that we have all these, let's change some of the rainbow dog fighters we have on like the ninth floor. Let's remove like all of these. I'm gonna literally mass remove all of these rainbow dog fighters. It'll lose me a lot of money, but rainbow dog fighters aren't that good right now anyway. And then we're gonna put all these decor items here. We're trying to get five star rating. All right, five star rating. Okay, that's the goal here. Let's take out all these. Let me know in the comments if you guys got to a five star rating. All I need to do is put all these everywhere. And I think, dude, this is gonna actually look sick. So I think that I can get five star from just doing this, right? Like I don't, I don't think it'll take more than this, dude. Just filling this up is gonna be. I hope, I hope these are actually worth points because some things are worth hundred points, but some things I don't think are worth hundred points. So I don't necessarily know if this item is worth hundred points. But all right, we're almost done. Spam clicking it everywhere. There we are. We're missing some spots, but it's totally fine. There we go. Are we done yet? I can't even tell. It's it's so laggy. Um, okay, I think I got it. I think I got every spot. I, I might miss some spots here and there. It's actually hard to see. My brain can't comprehend. Got these, got these. Am I am I good? Okay, I missed this one. Am I good? I think I got them all. I know I'm gonna get some comments about a spot I missed, but it's fine. Now let's see what my rating is. Oh, you get a money boost! So it does matter. It does matter. You get a money boost. A 10% money boost for having a two star. So that means as you go up, you're going to get a huge money boost. So that might be even more worth it. Okay. This changes everything. So 99, 99 lava lamps give me that many points. So it seems like a lava lamp doesn't actually give me a hundred. It's the only reason these other things give me a hundred was because, oh, I missed one. The only reason those other items gave me a hundred is because they're super rare items. That's the only reason. Like I got the, I got the bronze trophy and I got the golden lava lamp. So these other ones, I mean, 1600. I got to do math here, guys. Math is honestly hard and I have to do it in my head. So I have a hundred of them and it's 1600. So 1600 divided by a hundred, 16. Wow. I really needed a calculator for that. They're only giving me 16 points per lava. So is there any, is there any item that's worth more? Because that's not worth very much. You basically want to fill your place with the items that are worth the most rating points. You know what I mean? Oh, it does tell you the rating points. I like that. Okay. So rating points, 10, 12. 12, 14. Oh, so these are worth more. So I, I actually want to get the plants. I mean, ultimately, it would be best to get golden lava lamps everywhere, right? So I'm going to buy one of those to get another one. I know it says does not stack, but that's the VIP thing. But the rating points does, I think. But this is what we want the most of. So let's buy, let's buy 200 of these. There we go. And why is my watch telling me to stand? Bro, I'm standing. Hang on one sec. I got to walk around. This is what the watch wants me to do. Then I got to do it, you know? I gotta listen. I'm a slave to my Apple Watch, okay? I just do what it tells me. Okay, I think I did it. We're good. We're good to go. So I need to buy a bunch of rainbow plants. Did I do it? Did I do it? Rainbow plants. There they are. I have this many rainbow plants right now. I'm gonna go ahead and bring these and replace the ones I just put down. It's kind of annoying. It takes a while, but they're worth a lot more points. And I don't want to sacrifice too many open slots that aren't using arcade items to decor. You know what I mean? So you basically, I like that they added this because it's basically now it's like, now you want to use decor, but you also still want to barely put them. Like you want to use the minimum slots possible. So you want to use the best decor you possibly can to make it as good as possible. So technically the best possible layout would be all VIP, right? All the VIP lamps. And then see, we'll put another one, bam. And that'll give me a hundred more points. So 200 points right there. And then the other ones are going to boost me a lot more. So 20 per rather than the lava lamp, which was only 16. Not bad. This will def definitely be good. We'll have to do a few floors covered to make it actually worth my while. My goal is just to get a five-star restaurant. So pff, arcade, I'm still saying the wrong thing. All in all, I'm happy that this game updated and this is a pretty cool, unique thing that we weren't expecting. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this update. I know they kind of like, a lot of people were saying they let their game die out because they stopped updating and they kind of did, but we can bring it back, guys. I think this game is really fun and and I think we can bring it back with some streams and videos. So go down below, check out Arcade Empire and give it a go. Let me know what kind of ratings you get. And uh, yeah, we're just basically going to cover our entire 
place with this. Here's that. Okay, is that every spot? I think it is. I think we're missing one. Okay, I think we're just missing. I think that's it. I think that's all the spots. So let's see now. Now we're at, oh, we're a three star, a 15% money boost. So now the leap to 4,000 is gonna be a lot, but if I cover floor eight, now I just gotta remove all of the, wait, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, is there nothing here? Now I gotta remove all of these rainbows and then put even more rainbow plants. Dude, this is interesting. Now they made decor useful. So if they ever add a Russo decor item, it might be useful. Russo decor item, I'm down. I'd be so down. All right, let's 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 fill this one now. Um, I'll cut away to when we have this filled. Okay, now with that filled, that's a 20%, but it's gonna take probably two more floors to get to 5%. Will this be worth it at this point? Because I'm taking away a lot of these rainbows. I don't really know. The thing is, these were only rainbow dogfighters anyway, so they weren't really getting me that much money to begin with. Like if I replace these with all diamond, it, it would be a loss. But let me know in the comments. We're going to need the pros to test things out. Basically, is it better to get the full money boost with the decor? <laughs> Found him. He's like trying to find me the whole time. Is it better to get the full money boost with all the decor? Or is it better to get, you know, oh my gosh, I'm actually out of these items. All right. I'm going to have to cut to when I'm finished and I get a five star. I'll see you guys then. Okay. We finally did it. So this is what it took. This many points. I actually could take some of these off right now, but this many rainbow plants, give or take a few, gives me the 25% money boost. Is this more important than having all items here by like earning money? I don't really know, but I'm getting 44 million per minute and that's more than I was getting before. So I think this is ultimately a better money boost. Like I see millions popping up in the bottom left constantly, but I still don't have that many diamond games. So we're gonna have to get some of these new games as diamond. Guys, I'm hyped that this game finally updated. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Like the video, because it's an update, and subscribe if you guys are new. Hit that notification bell. I post two videos daily. Go check another one while you're at it. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.